What is up you guys and welcome to another video. In today's video, I wanna go over three very important things that I've learned after spending over $2 million on Facebook and Instagram marketing. If you guys are new here, my name is Benji. I'm an e-commerce Shopify entrepreneur. I own and operate a Shopify store that does multi-millions of dollars in revenue every single year. I started my first Shopify store in mid-2015 and I've spent a lot of money on Facebook and Instagram. I personally have spent quite a lot of money on the Facebook and Instagram platform. It's all been my own money. These are my own stores that I own 100% of. This isn't an agency that I'm working for or anything. Since I've spent so much of my hard-earned money learning all the trial and error, I wanna give you guys a few tips that you can use so you don't have to waste so much of your hard-earned money like I did at the beginning. All right, so the first concept I wanna share with you guys is to create an all-star model when you guys are creating your Facebook or Instagram ads. All-star setup is simply just finding the best performing images, videos, ad copy, etc. Once you find those after doing a lot of testing, once you find the winning images, the winning ad copy, the winning videos, etc., you can then use this winning all-star setup on different ads towards different audiences. It's something to keep in mind when you're in the beginning days of testing a new product or a new brand on Facebook and Instagram. Always thinking to yourself, what is that winning all-star setup gonna look like in the future? You're obviously not gonna know from day one. You're gonna have to do some various testing with different images, videos, slideshows, etc. You're gonna wanna test with a bunch of different ad copies, see what really engages the people, what sells them, etc. Once you do finally find that all-star winning setup, it's pretty cool because now you can take that exact model and scale it across different audiences. You can scale wide, you can scale narrow, you can increase the budget on the certain ad sets that you already have going, or you could create new campaigns and obviously promote the different audiences as well. With the all-star winning model, what you guys might be asking is, that sounds pretty cool, but I don't have all that much budget to play around with yet, so how do I really find out what that all-star setup is? What I would tell you guys to do is take the best performing images or videos from the past previous campaigns you've ever done, whether it's on Instagram or whether it's through email marketing or whatever it might be, even ask your friends or family what images and what videos they like the best if you really have no budget. Use those and try to deploy those as your first kind of all-star setup test. And over time, you're gonna find out pretty quickly which one of those will be your next all-star setup. Once I found these all-star setups for my specific brand, it's pretty cool because at that point, I don't really need to worry about doing that much more creative testing or even ad copy testing. I can kind of use it all-star setup and just start deploying it and testing different audiences and once I find a few audiences that stick I can then scale those out and I can kind of turn off the ads that don't do as well not to mention if your guys's brand sells products that are kind of similar together let's say you're selling an apparel brand or something you can then use that same exact like all-star setup model to then test different products to the same audiences cross-selling and etc right, so the next crucial thing that I would definitely look into is to make sure that you have your pixel installed on your Shopify store Obviously, this is super basic for a lot of you, maybe not for everyone. Once you have the Facebook pixel installed in your Shopify store, everything will then be recorded and sent back to Facebook through data. Once it's installed, you can then start building tons of custom audiences and then build look-like audiences off of those. These custom audiences as well as look-like audiences are gonna be very, very crucial, especially in converting sales. At least in my experience through my store, our custom audiences and look-like audiences are really what we sell a lot to. Utilizing all the data that Facebook helps you collect is super crucial from day one. Don't be like me or like a lot of other Shopify guys and wait to install the pixel, install it from day one, start collecting data from day one and utilizing it the best that you can. All right, you guys, and the last valuable tip that I've learned after spending over $2 million on Facebook and Instagram is to build out funnels. Now, I know you guys have all heard the term funnel in marketing. It's a very big buzzword these days, especially with companies like ClickFunnels and et cetera. When it comes to running Facebook and Instagram ads, every single ad has a time and a place. And when you build out funnels, you can kind of direct the ads to different areas in the funnel, for example. This funnel is a model that you could use on your e-commerce store. It's very, very basic. We started off at the top of the funnel. The top of the funnel, we optimized for video views. We ran video ads targeting people that didn't know about our brand, that never have heard about us. It was just cold traffic using interest-based targeting. At the same time that those video ads were running, we then also ran ads that are optimizing for traffic and clicks a little bit lower down the funnel. The audience for the traffic and clicks campaign were simply people that have watched the video above us in the funnel. And now finally, we created even more ad sets optimizing for conversion. These people were retargeting people that have visited our website. As you can see here with my funnel setup, for example, if you have all these ads running together and have them ongoing running, you're constantly filling the funnel with brand new people that have never heard of you before, then sending those people to your website and then trying to get those people that have been to your website to convert and then slowly just do it all over again. The beauty of creating a funnel like this one is it's really long term. You can start off with a super wide, broad audience at the top of the funnel. And before you know it, the people down here at the bottom of the funnel are people that have been to your website, people that have viewed your video. They're very, very warm traffic and they're probably gonna convert. The best part of it all is once you have all these ads optimized and they're all running well, you really don't have to do much work at all because they're kind of all working together. You maybe just check on your ads once or twice a day and normally everything runs pretty smoothly. All right, you guys, so those were a few things that I've learned after spending over $2 million 
on Facebook and Instagram just over the last few years. It's been quite a learning experience to say the least. I'm always still learning. I'm hoping a few of these concepts were kind of new to you. Maybe they just provoked a different thought in your guys' head when running your Facebook or Instagram ads. I really hope it provided value to you in some sort of way. If you guys did enjoy this video, I would really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more daily business entrepreneurial content. I have tons of things going on right now. I have so many cool videos coming up for you guys soon. I promise you that. And other than that, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.